I want to judge you. You understand our situation. I want you to lead this council with the fear of God. I want you to lead this council with understanding that you are dealing with people that are independent, feeding their own families. So you need to have a spirit and a heart of accommodation. Tolerate them, but make your point very straight. And I strongly believe that they are mature enough to give you the required support. I want to see a different society from this hour. The federal government is doing everything to see that our production level increases and every day we're having issues of bunkering, pipeline vandalization, and all these problems. These people that are carrying out this evil act, they are not coming from the moon. They live in our communities. We know them. I'm charging this council as a first step. Take charge of your communities. If there is any information that you need to share with us, share with us. Because at the overall end, we need our country to progress. We need our country to be stable. We need our country to grow economically. And it is only through one means, our oil production. Please, I'm charging you to please go back and take charge of your community. I assure you of my support. I mean it, I assure you of my support. If there is anything we need to do, if it means we sending you some little support financially to create your own little vigilante and all those things to help, we will do it. Very happy and grateful to the Almighty God that today, the 22nd of July, in the year of our Lord, 2024, that I'm standing before you again to perform an official assignment. It is only God that has made it possible. I feel very happy and also grateful to God that this council is still existing even in the face of all our trials. <laughs> what we are doing today, it is not politics, but performing our duty as government. And I want to commend the chairman who is barely three months in office has been able to put this together. It shows leadership. There is nothing new that has happened. The immediate past chairman served out his term and the term is really a one year duration. It is at the discretion of the governor to extend I believe, from my own assessment, there was no reason to extend it, but rather to bring in a new blood that can bring the, the council together. And what we did, we did in good faith, because our community, our people are important to us. This is the first time after his appointment that I'm addressing the council.